Hello friends, it's Lucretia again. In today's video, we're going to discuss one of the less utilized items in Don't Starve's Hamlet DLC, the Bird Whistle, and the many practical applications of the BFB. To begin, I used to hate the BFB. I found this gargantuan bird incredibly annoying, and felt as if it almost always showed up at the most inconvenient moment, such as while bogged down by the heavy fog of humid season, with an impending bat wave, all of this while rabid flesh-eating beetles came pouring out of the dense rainforest. Now, however, since becoming familiar with the more unforgiving aspects of Hamlet's various seasons, I've come to love the BFB, and have uncovered great utility hidden beneath its enormous shadow. Acquiring a hippopotamus antler, three platypine quills, and a single flint, the bird whistle is a wonderful addition to any survivor's inventory. Just be sure not to kill both hippopotamus when fetching that antler, otherwise you will render that particular herd extinct. Here are some wonderful uses for the bird whistle I have uncovered while surviving day-to-day -day life in the hamlet. Number 1. Log Farming The BFB is an exceptional tool for deforestation and is consequently an excellent means of gathering lumber. Number 2. Transforming the Pinnacle Island into a great place to base while I do not reside on the BFB island myself, I have, however, built a small settlement on the island to use as a way station of sorts, following a long journey in the BFB's clutches. Number three, mineral gathering. Regrettably, rummaging through dung piles is an unfortunate but practical means of accumulating stone. Unless you're world hopping to reign of giants or shipwrecked, a renewable source of minerals remains unreliable at best in the hamlet what with gnat mounds making mineral gathering positively loathsome. The BFB and its corresponding bird whistle is a truly unique mechanic, which, when properly utilized, can afford the survivors some much-needed convenience to the day-to-day -day transport in the hamlet. I was wrong to loathe this enormous, curious bird. It is my hope that I have convinced players who, like me, disregarded this mechanic at first glance to give the BFB a second look. For those of you who remain unmoved on this issue, you'll be pleased to know that a recent update to the game has added a nightmarish counterpart to the bird whistle, the appropriately named Nightmarish Bird Whistle, which can be used to permanently ward off all future visits from the Hamlet's most enormous of birds, although you're going to need to hold onto some of those dark tatters. Now that you possess thorough knowledge of this avian instrument, you can sit back and enjoy a fruit medley while the BFB makes log farming a breeze.